Oh my god. Where? These are some of the most disturbing encounters circulating the internet. A warning, the last story is truly shocking. YouTuber Kazi Official does various adventures on their channel, but the encounter they had here was downright terrifying. Holy, you saw that, right? You saw that. It's this way, it's this way, it's this way, Danny, this way, this way. He's venturing into a haunted forest in Ottawa, his hometown, where there used to be a story their parents told them. 20, 25 years ago in my neighborhood that I grew up in with, uh, with the boy Danny and Ali over there, uh, we grew up in a neighborhood and there was this massive, massive forest. It was a terrifying forest because we were told as kids to never go into the forest. Apparently there was this tall man, tall figure, old man, that walked around with a shotgun. And so we stayed out, we never went. Danny and Mark went into the forest. They're two of our friends from childhood. They ventured off deep in, no matter what we said, they, they wanted to go. We tried to tell them not to. And they got chased out by a dude wearing all black and a shotgun. And so why is that important today? Well, there's a rumor in the city that we're from, Ottawa, that there's this old man or tall man, it's very similar to what we grew up with, walking around in a black robe or a black shadow figure. I've heard, we've heard mixed things, different things. Do we actually want to go explore together? As it seems, the old legend is back. This time, they decide to uncover the truth behind it. They get closer to entering the forest. However, they already begin to feel uneasy. What if the stories are true? For a big part of the video, nothing happens. But they make a crucial decision. They stray away from the main track. They soon find an abandoned cabin with an eerie secret inside. Yo, I'm gonna check this side. We came off trail and we just found a busted down shed. Bro, yo, let's do the games with this. You guys are inside? How'd you get in? How'd you get in? What the hell is this? Bro, look at this. What the hell is this? Yo, be careful. What? Yo, is that a satellite oh. dish right there? I don't touch it with your hand, bro. Don't touch it with your hand. Does anybody have gloves? Clearly been here and did something. Why is there salt, by the way? It seems someone was recently there, making some kind of ritual. However, things were about to take an even more terrifying turn. The hell did you find? Who found this, by the way? Ali, Ali. Found the house just sitting in front of me. Bro, look at all these canes. Death, Rolf, Niap, Ro. Oh my god. Oh, we have to Yo, I got very eerie near that. They hear loud noises outside and decide to quickly leave. However, they were about to realize the stories they heard were true. Like this is messed up. How do we get out of here? What the? No. No, no. What? No, no. Go, go, go. What's wrong go. with you, bro? Go. What do you mean go? Just come. What do you mean go. Go. What the hell did you see? Bro, I literally just saw something standing there, bro. Go, go, go. Hold on. Hey, give me, let me go. see, let me see. Go. Go. Yeah, bro, go. you're seeing things out. You're I'm seeing things. I'm not seeing anything. He's, bro, there's literally nothing. Oh my God. Where? Step back, step back. Hello? Hello? They spot a man wearing all black, just like in the stories they heard as kids. Not moving, not doing anything at first, but they decide not to linger and just make a run for it. However, that was a mistake. Man, hold on, hold on. Do you hear, do you hear? I see a light. You're a pinnacle. Holy, 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 go, 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 go. The man made them run into the direction of another light, someone else seemingly waiting them. But this person was sprinting towards them. They somehow managed to find their way back to the main track and to their car. But the questions remain. Who was the man in black? Who was at the other side, chasing them? This footage comes from a security camera from Colombia that caught a bizarre event. The man survived, 
but he was knocked out and had to get 24 stitches at the hospital. No one who've seen this video has any idea what exactly hit him. It happens in a flash, so it is very hard to get an idea as to what caused this. It seems like some form of lightning fast ball comes from behind and goes straight through the door. If anyone knows, let us know in the comments. Buying a new home is supposed to be a dream come true, but for this woman, it quickly turned into a nightmare. We just bought a home and I think somebody may have been smurdered in it because tonight we had a leak in our laundry room. But um, what is this? There is literal footprints in this stuff. I am freaking out right now. Um, it all started with a simple leak in the laundry room. Now what's odd is that the laundry room was the only place upstairs with flooring. Because of the leak, they had to rip out the flooring, and that's when they discovered something truly chilling. Dried out remnants of a red substance puddle, complete with footprints in it. You see that? I know what anyone would think when seeing it. Something was badly injured in there. She says she is freaking out, and understandably. But boy, is she composed for the video. No lady, you are not overreacting. In fact, you are underreacting, if anything. It's definitely not paint. You are 100% justified to be spooked. This looks like the beginning of a horror movie. And more importantly, you need to get out of there. If it were me, I would be dialing the cops immediately and just leave the house. What do you think? Is there a logical explanation? Let us know in the comments. This person is driving in the rain, following another car. Through the rain-streaked glass, we can see something eerie in the back seat of the car ahead. You spot that creepy figure? It looks straight out of a horror movie. It's a woman, but not just any woman. She looks possessed. Her eyes are literally glowing, and she's turned around staring right at the car behind, making bizarre gestures. The people recording this are not scared, but rather cheering in a perplexed way. They seem to be enjoying the show, but should they be? Do they know something that we don't? Is this some elaborate prank, or is it something more sinister? And who's driving that car with the possessed-looking woman in the back? Could it really be some kind of paranormal activity? What do you think? Witnessing a spooky encounter? Or just some great acting? Check this wild clip out of Romania. A humanoid creature caught on camera. Looks humanoid but way too short, and it's walking on two legs. But look closer. It's limping like it's hurt. It even uses one of its limbs to steady itself on the car. What in the world could that be? I've never seen anything like it. Could it be an alien? Maybe it crashed, landed and got hurt? Or is it something much more mundane? Just an old person, perhaps? but distorted by some kind of light illusion to look like something else entirely. Alien or illusion? What do you think? This one's a real head-scratcher. Check this out. A giant crab right near the shore. And when I say giant, I mean the size of a tortoise. It's absolutely massive and honestly, pretty terrifying. Look at those spikes. It's just sitting there completely still. It makes you wonder, is it really a crab or some kind of sculpture? 
but it looks way too real. And those pincers? They look like they could cut a human in half. Seriously, imagine getting too close to that thing. Near the steps? Is that another crab? Really two of them? Yep, my fear of the oceans is totally justified. If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. This next clip is intense. Actually, it's a slow dance between patience and peril. Our man is recording this bear. And this bear seems to be a smart cookie. It takes its time, moving a few steps forward, testing the waters. The man knows the danger is real, but he has to keep his composure. If he runs, it's game over. The bear stops. And so does he. Then the bear starts moving again slowly, and our man takes a few more cautious steps back. The bear pauses again, and then out of nowhere, it rushes towards him. That's all we have. The video cuts off abruptly. I hope the person is okay and it didn't end badly for him. This really makes you think about wild animals and humans encroaching on their space. We need to find a balance. It's our responsibility to respect their habitat and coexist peacefully. Building on our last bear encounter, here's another wild one. This bear wants a piece of this rider. It knows it's got a healthy, fulfilling meal if it catches hold of him. The rider is waving his hands, trying to shoo the bear away, but the bear isn't budging. As he turns away, the bear lunges, but the man keeps his cool. He starts his bike, trying to slowly move forward. The bear takes another swipe at him. Lucky for our rider, another vehicle on the road makes some noise and the bear gets spooked and runs to the other side of the road. The video cuts off there. Wild animals are dangerous. That's a given. We've already talked about how humans are encroaching on wild spaces. This road through the forest is a prime example. Obviously, we'll see more encounters like this. But the real highlight here is the importance of staying calm and composed in such situations. Panic can make things worse. But keeping your cool, like this man did, can be a lifesaver. Remember the Chucky doll from the Child's Play and Chucky movies? Creepy little guy, right? Now, imagine if you had a chance to take one home. Would you? Well, watch this clip before you decide. A Chucky doll is just chilling on a sofa, and a kid is playing on the ground with another doll. Innocent enough, right? But as we zoom in, check this out. The Chucky doll is staring right into the camera. Super creepy. The way it's positioned, with its head fixed directly on the camera, doesn't feel natural at all. It's almost like it knows it's being watched. Those eyes, unblinking, locked onto the lens, as if it's aware of your every move, gives you the chills, doesn't it? What do you think? Coincidence or something more sinister? Would you dare to take this doll home now? Let us know in the comments if you think there's more to this than meets the eye. What you're about to see is pure madness. Seriously, this is an expert's job. We've got a wild clip of man versus beast right on the side of a road. This guy's got nerves of steel. He's trying to catch a crocodile. Or is it an alligator? I can never tell the difference. If you know an easy way to remember, drop it in the comments. The guy moves in like he's done this a thousand times. He hooks the mouth and the beast goes into its infamous death roll. But nope, not today. 
he manages to catch it and tie its mouth shut. Then, he picks it up like it's a house pet and carries it to his truck. One wrong move and he could lose an arm. This is some next level bravery and skill. What do you think? Would you ever attempt something like this? Probably not, right? Best to leave this kind of stuff to the experts. Hold on to your seats for this one. We're diving back to 1958, right into the heart of an atomic blast underwater. A calm ocean, birds chirping peacefully. It's almost too serene. And then boom! The underwater blast hits and the ocean literally explodes. The sheer force is mind-blowing. But it doesn't stop there. Another blast, or maybe an aftershock, follows sending a massive cloud of water and smoke shooting into the sky. The visuals are something else. That pure white color, so pristine yet so haunting. It's wild how something so dangerous can be so mesmerizingly beautiful. What do you think? You can never be too cautious. Seriously, check this out. Oh, a snake hiding inside the handle of a bike. Just look at where it's lurking. How many of us would have even noticed it? One swift motion, and bam! It could easily bite your hand while riding. Maybe this person just got lucky. This is a stark reminder to always stay vigilant. But even then, sometimes it's just not enough. Do you think you would have noticed? Speaking of snakes, here's a wild clip straight from the depths of the ocean. A sea snake devouring another snake hole. Can you believe it? Not even sure if the other snake is dead, but it's getting swallowed right before our eyes. Look closely. It seems like it's taking in water through its mouth, or maybe that's just the pressure from being eaten whole. This is a stark reminder of what snakes can do. These are magnificent creatures, built to be apex predators. So next time you see a snake, don't think, just run in the opposite direction. After that brutal scene, let's shift to something truly magnificent. That tree is huge, bro. Imagine how an ass on your boat. This man is rowing his boat on a river, and beneath the surface, you can see the base of a cypress tree. Obviously, it's been cut. Cypress trees can get absolutely massive. Just look at this one. Imagine it in all its glory. Just think about how big it could be. Cypress trees are some of the largest trees you'll find. They can grow to be hundreds of feet tall, with trunks so wide you can't even wrap your arms around them. And millions of years ago, trees like these were even bigger. Ancient forests were filled with giant trees that towered over everything. Isn't it amazing to think about how these natural giants have stood the test of time? Here's something you don't see every day. Nature's wonder, or should I saw blunder? Check out this. Look at its neck. What's up with that bend halfway through? Maybe it broke its neck when it was small. And somehow survived to tell its tale. Isn't it amazing how life always finds a way? Even with that weird neck, this animal seems to be doing just fine. It's incredible how resilient nature can be. What do you think about this unusual sight? If you got so far in the video, it means you're a dedicated viewer. Thank you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell button, 
I promise to keep posting these for you to enjoy. Speaking of nature, here's something supernatural straight from the Philippines. This security footage captures something truly scary in the dead of night. A silent, empty street. And then out of nowhere, this bike starts moving on its own. The motion sensors detect it and turn the lights on, casting eerie shadows. The bike goes in a circle a few times, almost like it's being ridden by an invisible force, and then it's off. It speeds away into the night. Seriously, does anyone have a logical explanation for this, apart from saying it's staged, which it sure doesn't look like? What could this be? A ghost rider? Videos like this make us wonder are spirits and ghosts actually real? What do you think? People say the witching hour between 2 and 3 in the morning is when the truly terrifying creatures emerge. Well, this home security camera footage might just prove it. <laughs> This chilling video comes from a home security camera that captured a truly bizarre and frightening creature lurking near the house. The camera is focused on the fence when something unnatural appears in the tall grass. This thing looks almost human, but its skin is entirely white, and it has this creepy way of peering into the camera. It seems to know it's being watched, constantly checking to see if the camera is on it. The homeowner was understandably terrified after seeing this. Honestly, if I saw that thing lurking around my house, I'd be packing my bags for the suburbs the next day. Being out on the ocean, spotting another boat is a huge relief. It means there's human presence out there, but that sense of comfort turns to terror when you see a boat upside down, and there's no one around. Not something you see every day, right there. That's a weird feeling. Got the FLs, marked its location. This footage was captured by a group of fishermen during their routine fishing trip. About 50 miles from shore, they encountered something truly bizarre. In the video, you can see something floating towards them. At first glance, it looks like a giant menacing jellyfish but a closer look reveals a large, capsized boat with no one on board. It's chilling to see this vessel upside down, 50 miles out at sea, with absolutely nothing else in sight for miles. The fishermen did the right thing by noting the boat's registration number and location, and reporting it to the Coast Guard. Let's hope everyone on board is safe. This incident makes me wonder why boats aren't painted orange on the bottom it would be much easier to spot them from a distance in case of an emergency compared to this color. Nanny cams are lifesavers. They let us keep an eye on our little ones when we can't be there. But sometimes they capture stuff that's downright bizarre and terrifying. But check this out. Tell me that doesn't look like someone standing in the room. So, okay. Nothing, right? Like, what the f Definitely something in there. You saw that, right? This video is from a guy babysitting his nephew while his aunt was out of town. What he saw on the nanny cam freaked him the hell out. In the video, he says he's not sure if he's losing his mind, but he saw something on the camera in his nephew's room. He goes into the room, checks everywhere, the bathroom under the bed behind the table, but finds nothing. Back in the living room, he checks the nanny cam again, and there it is, a shadow standing in front of the camera, behind a plushie. The shadow doesn't move at all, and it's only visible on the camera, which is super creepy. 
It looks like a small humanoid shape. I'm leaning towards this being a glitch in the nanny cam, like it couldn't handle shadows properly and created that weird image. But if that's not it, then what the hell was it? I love going to the beach. There's something so calming about the sun, the sound of the waves. It's mesmerizing. But after seeing this video, I'm not sure I'll ever want to go back. Look at these guys. I don't know if you can tell, but they're crackling and they're moving. This TikTok video shows just how versatile beach sand can be when it comes to holding creatures. The girl starts by zooming in on a patch of pebbles, which looks pretty normal at first, but then she scrapes them off, revealing a horrifying mass of maggots. They were all over the pebbles, perfectly camouflaged. She even says you can hear them moving, which is incredibly eerie. She goes on to discover weird seashells, teeth, and a tiny hermit crab, and the final surprise, a pile of mermaids' purses, which look like strange sea bats. I never imagined finding all this stuff on a beach. After watching this, I don't think I'll be sunbathing anytime soon. We usually picture mermaids as enchanting, half-human, half-fish creatures, but this video from a ship worker will completely change your mind. What are those? This ship worker captured some seriously disturbing footage. While at sea, he spotted strange disturbances in the water, like something was just below the water surface and was chasing the ship. The video shows two mysterious creatures swimming alongside the vessel at incredible speed. But that's not all. Listen to those eerie, distant screams. I hear. Where's he at? What the f is that noise, bro? What is that noise? It sounds like a woman in distress. Those screams echo through the night, matching the terrifying sight of those creatures following the ship. People in the comments are convinced these are sirens, mythical creatures known for luring sailors to their deaths with enchanting song. But honestly, those sounds were pure horror. If I ever heard something like that in the middle of the ocean, I'd be sailing away as fast as possible. If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. Just like our oceans, our land, especially the jungles, holds uncharted territories that could be home to all sorts of mysterious creatures. This terrifying video might just prove it. What in the world is making that noise? This footage comes from a group of hikers who stumbled upon a truly terrifying situation. As they ventured deeper into the woods, they heard a bone-chilling sound, a mix of a deep growl and a blood-curdling scream. It sounded like something straight out of a nightmare. The hikers decided they'd had enough adventure for one day and turned back. So, what was that creature? I did some digging and found out that animals like mountain lions and elk can make similar sounds. I'm putting my money on elk as there are plenty of videos online showing them making noises just like this one. Even if it was just an elk, it was enough to scare off even the bravest hikers. Amusement park rides are a blast until you're dangling upside down, hundreds of feet above the ground. This video comes from Oaks, amusement park where a day of fun turned into a terrifying ordeal. A ride at the park in Portland came to a screeching halt, leaving 28 people 
suspended upside down, a hundred feet in the air. This wasn't supposed to happen. It was a terrifying and life-threatening situation. Park staff called for help, but before emergency responders arrived, they managed to get the ride back on the ground and safely evacuate everyone. Can you imagine being stuck upside down like that? Your brain would probably short circuit. After seeing this, I'd think twice about ever going on a ride like that again. No thanks. I'm good with my feet firmly planted on the ground. Being trapped in an elevator is a nightmare in itself, but things escalate to a whole new level of terrifying when it starts flooding. Just watch this video. This footage is from a guy's phone who was caught in an absolute nightmare with his friends. He's just chilling, smoking a cigarette, when bam, the elevator floor breaks open. And if that wasn't bad enough, the whole elevator starts filling up with water. In seconds, they're neck deep. I mean, what else could possibly go wrong in there? I did some digging and found out they were heading downstairs to check out the basement flooding when this happened. Like, seriously? Don't just jump in an elevator, call emergency services or something, people. If you're a hiker, you know those scenic views can be absolutely breathtaking. They pull you in like a magnet, but sometimes they pull you in a little too deep. Like needing Swiss Air Rescue to save you. This video was captured by a Swiss Air Rescue thermal imaging camera while searching for a missing hiker in the mountains. Watch as the camera scans the mountainside until it finally picks up the hiker lying on the slope. It's incredible how clearly the camera distinguishes the hiker from the ground. It's a lifesaver. The hiker even waves when he sees the camera. Man, I'm so glad they found him. Those Swiss mountains are no joke wild animals and all. And can you believe he ended up on that random downslope? How on earth did he even get there? This next video comes from a military base where a strange unidentified flying object was captured on night vision goggles. In the video, Recorded by thermal vision goggles, we can see unusual lights moving among the stars. From this distance, they look like stars. But their straight line arrangement is quite alien-like. There are multiple lights, giving the appearance of an alien spaceship. However, this isn't what it seems. These are actually Elon Musk's Starlink satellites. Launched in 2019, these satellites have been orbiting our planet ever since. Appearing as a string of bright lights, Starlink satellites can look quite otherworldly, leading to numerous unknown flying object sightings when they first appeared. But these long lines of lights are only visible shortly after launch. So, I think the person who uploaded the video might not know about Starlink satellites making the footage seem mysterious. Natural disasters are terrifying not just because of the destruction they cause, but because we're completely powerless to stop them. This video from Nebraska is a perfect example. Right there, stop! We're good! Jordan, stop. We're good, we're good! This footage comes from a group of YouTubers called the Nelk Boys who were chasing a storm. As they drive down the highway, a massive ferocious tornado appears in the background. It's absolutely insane. Look at how fast it's moving and how it reaches high into the sky. The whole sky is dark and stormy and the way the tornado swirls is terrifying. Seeing the Nelk boys driving straight towards it makes it even scarier. Tornadoes can be over a mile wide and stay on the ground for more than 50 miles. And this one looked like it could go on forever. Ever heard of a sun dog? I'm not talking about a new breed of dog, I'm talking about this. 
We got the sun, the rainbow around the sun, the three point reflection on each side, one on the bottom. And then from each side, there's a spear of light. And if you look closely, you can see a second rainbow. Up above, there's an inverse rainbow. Isn't it incredible? This video was captured by a skier in Canada who noticed something strange about the sun. In the footage, the cameraman shows the sun, surrounded by a weird, bright shape. There's a rainbow around it, and then there are reflections on three sides. It looks like some kind of magical portal from the havens. This mesmerizing phenomenon is called a sun dog. Sun dogs are colorful spots of light created when sunlight refracts through ice crystals in the atmosphere. They appear about 22 degrees to the left or right of the sun, depending on where the ice crystals are located. Sun dogs are pretty rare because they only form under specific conditions and in certain regions. So the skier who captured this was incredibly lucky. You're enjoying a romantic dinner with your partner. Everything's perfect, right? Well, this next video is going to change your mind about what could potentially interrupt your meal. This video was recorded by a husband on a dinner date with his wife. And let's just say, it took an unexpected turn. In the video, we see a massive wild pig waltz into the restaurant, followed by its adorable little piglet. The mama pig walks up to the couple and stands on her hind legs, trying to reach the table for some food. She accidentally knocks over a wine glass, which scares her off, and the whole family makes a hasty retreat. Now, that's one way to spice up your dinner experience. I mean, who would have thought you'd get a free wildlife show with your meal? The restaurant might want to consider adding wild boar encounters to their menu. But seriously, this is wild. I wonder how often this happens. If you got so far in the video, it means you're a dedicated viewer. Thank you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell button, I promise to keep posting these for you to enjoy. When it comes to water, you never know how deep it is or what might be lurking beneath the surface. Watch yourself. The ocean is scary. This video comes from a group of friends on a fishing trip, but what they found there was pure horror. The water initially seems clear, perfect for fishing, until the cameraman submerges it and reveals hundreds of stingrays hidden in the sand below. These creatures are casually resting, like they're taking a nap. Imagine going for a swim in that. It's a nightmare scenario. However, contrary to their fearsome reputation, stingrays are actually shy and gentle creatures that prefer to swim away rather than attack. They only use their stingers to defend against predators like sharks and large fish. They typically attack humans only when they feel threatened, often when stepped on accidentally. Given the number of stingrays in this video, avoiding them would be quite a challenge. Bears, as ferocious as they are, are actually pretty slow. It makes you wonder how they manage to hunt in the wild where everything else is so fast. Well, this video will show you exactly that. What did you feel? This video was captured by a driver who spotted a lost calf on the side of the road. The calf was so weak it could barely stand. Its mother was on the other side of a roadside fence. But instead of helping, she ran away when something scared her. The driver was confused until the source of her fear revealed itself, a black bear. The bear slowly approached and attacked the calf, carrying it away into the woods. That's where the video ends. The poor calf had nowhere to run, and even its mother abandoned it in this terrible situation. This shows that while we often talk about the power of maternal love in the animal kingdom, survival instincts always come first. 
some people believe we live in a simulation, and there are supposed glitches all around to prove it. This home security camera footage might just be one of those. This video from 2014 shows a house at night captured on a security camera. As the video plays, something strange happens. A small bush suddenly appears out of nowhere in the middle left of the screen. It wasn't there at the start of the video, but it pops up at some point of the Things get even weirder after a few seconds. The bush starts to change shape, morphing into a strange moving form that's impossible to identify. It blurs and even seems to take on a humanoid shape for a brief moment before completely vanishing. This is seriously creepy. Could this be a real life glitch in the Matrix? Who knows? The idea of hell is terrifying in almost every culture. Scorching heat. Endless fire. It's the stuff of nightmares. Well, this guy might have just found a gateway to it. Dude. Oh my god. Be careful. It's hot in there. Yep. This is straight out of a nightmare. This video was captured by a coal mine worker who witnessed something truly bizarre. In the footage, we see a cliff with a gaping hole in it. The area around the opening is covered in black, burnt rocks hinting at intense fire within. As the cameraman turns the camera towards the cave, we see an eerie orange glow emanating from inside. The horror unfolds as he throws a stick into the cave, only to watch it completely burn to ashes in seconds, suspended in mid-air. This underground coal mine has transformed into a terrifying inferno. It's truly frightening. And after seeing this, I'm determined to be a better person to avoid a place like hell. Imagine driving down the road and your windshield suddenly cracks. Scary, right? You'd probably pull over and call for repairs. But what if you were thousands of feet in the air when that happened? This pilot captured some terrifying footage during a flight. A small crack appears in the windshield, and it quickly gets worse. You can see sparks flying as the crack spreads, and before you know it, the entire windshield is covered in cracks. It's a nightmare scenario. The video ends there, but if the windshield completely shattered, it would be a disaster. Loose items would fly out of the cockpit, but if pilots are strapped in, they won't. Still, it would be terrifying. So what caused this? I did some research and found out it was likely a short circuit in the window heating element. The extreme temperature difference between the heated glass and the freezing outside air caused the glass to crack. This video has definitely made me a lot more nervous about flying. Ever wanted to take an epic picture with your friends, only to have it ruined by a photobomber? That's annoying, but it's nothing compared to what happened in this video. Did you see that? This video was uploaded by a mom, showing her kids' friend group capturing a truly terrifying moment. The group is posing for a picture when something transparent and quick zips past in the background. The kid in the black shirt has someone behind him who definitely isn't one of his friends. The group didn't notice it at the time, but it's clear in the video that something was there. Slowing down the footage, we can barely make out a humanoid shape. You can see its legs as it runs. What on earth was it? A ghost? A spirit? Or something even more sinister? If you're claustrophobic, this video is definitely not for you. But if you're up for an adrenaline rush, hold on tight. This video shows a diver plunging into a mountain cave in Castle Rock, Fenimore. I mean, this guy isn't just exploring a small cave opening like a regular cave enthusiast. He's diving into a tiny, water-filled hole. The diver prepares his gear, 
and then bravely ventures into the narrow opening. It's a real struggle to fit through the tight space. Watching him swim upward into the cave, I couldn't handle the claustrophobia. His friend follows, and they both have to squeeze and crawl through impossibly small openings. It's like watching someone contort their body into a pretzel. Finally, after squeezing through countless tight spots, they emerge from the cave. The video ends there. Man, adventure sports are reaching a whole new level of terrifying. Imagine being stuck in there, unable to move forward or backward with your oxygen running out. Pure nightmare fuel. For many, waking up on a camping trip to a stunning natural view is the ultimate dream. But if we're talking nightmares, this video is it. This terrifying footage comes from a camper who captured the stuff of nightmares. Right there in your face is a massive grizzly bear rummaging around for food. The video was recorded from inside the camp. So the bear was completely oblivious to the cameraman. Also, this bear was monstrous. Like, look at its size. Bears are smart. They know campsites often mean leftover food, which is why this one was sniffing around the tent. But the real terror is how close it is to the camper. One wrong move, and the bear would know someone's inside. Can you imagine? I'm hoping this camper had bear spray handy. Babies are the most innocent creatures in the world but it seems like the paranormal loves to mess with them. Just look at this nanny com footage of a two-year-old. This video was uploaded to Reddit by a concerned father who was freaked out by what his baby's nanny cam recorded last night. In the video, the baby is sleeping face down in their crib. Everything seems normal. But then suddenly, the baby's legs start to rise up in the air on their own. It happens multiple times, like someone is pulling them up while the baby's face stays planted on the crib. I know you're probably thinking it's just a normal baby learning to control their body, but the way those legs are yanked up is unnatural. It's terrifying knowing the baby is alone in there, and the idea of a paranormal being messing with them is pure nightmare fuel. I don't know if it's surely paranormal, or if this baby has some weird superpower. But one thing's for sure, it's strain. If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. There's something terrifying about deep water. With a cliff, you can see the bottom and gauge the danger. But with water, it's pure dread. I can't handle this. This video comes from a Reddit user who posted it on an ocean exploring subreddit. The clip shows the cameraman jumping into a rock pool. Once in, we see him standing on an underwater ledge before stepping off and eerily descending into the darkness below. There's nothing but blackness, and the way the water brushes against the microphone sends shivers down my spine. After a few seconds of descending, the cameraman swims back to the surface, and the video ends. This was genuinely scary. The pure darkness and the unknown depths are terrifying. You never know how deep these rock pools and water bodies are until it's too late. Have you ever been slapped in the face by an octopus carried by a seal? I'm not talking about a Disney cartoon. Just watch this. This video was recorded by a group of kayakers enjoying a trip in the Kaikoura, New Zealand waters. But someone out there wasn't having it. In the video, they're laughing and having a good time, when suddenly, a seal bursts out of the water and slaps one of the kayakers right in the face with an octopus. The seal then quickly dives back into the water, leaving the stunned octopus behind. Everyone on the kayak was shocked and burst out laughing at the unexpected attack. 
Seals are known for being playful, smart, and mischievous. But I've never seen one use another creature as a weapon. This was a rare and incredibly funny moment to capture. When you're in nature's territory, you should always respect its boundaries, because if you manage to annoy it, you're in for a world of trouble, just like in this video. This video was recorded by two individuals on snowmobiles as they chased a bear. The snowy terrain was no match for their pursuit as they followed the bear, who was clearly trying to escape. The bear was probably annoyed by the loud engine noise, and despite its attempts to flee, the two snowmobilers kept chasing it. And then the inevitable happened. The bear had enough. As the cameraman got close, the bear stopped, turned around, and lunged at him. Honestly, this was incredibly stupid. Chasing a bear in the wild is a recipe for disaster. These people deserve a serious talking to from wildlife officers. I've read that some countries, like China, capture bears and give them as gifts to other nations. Maybe that's what's happening here, and this close call was instant karma. I can't stand face masks or dolls. They creep me out. Something about them is really eerie. But a World War ventriloquist doll, that's a whole new level of terrifying. Did you see that? This video was captured by a night security camera in a museum. It shows a World War ventriloquist doll in a glass case. Suddenly, the doll blinks like a real person, and the case opens by itself. Then it blinks again, and moves its lips twice. It's like something's trapped inside trying to communicate. The video ends there, but it's enough to give me nightmares. I mean, it's a doll from World War. What else would you expect? This has definitely intensified my fear of dolls. Our oceans are filled with incredible creatures, but some, like whales, are absolutely massive. You might think your little boat is safe, but this video will make you think twice. This happened in Portsmouth, Rhode Island. A whale literally jumped out of the water and landed on a boat, completely flipping it over. There were two people on board who managed to jump out just in time. It's crazy how the whale's head alone was enough to capsize the boat. It's a terrifying reminder of just how powerful these animals are. The people on the boat did the right thing by jumping out, but I hope they're okay. And as for the person recording, they definitely got a lesson in respecting the ocean's power. Okay, so we all know waves can be scary, right? But have you ever seen a whirlpool so powerful it starts sucking up the entire land? Yeah, me neither until now. Seriously, where does all that water go? This TikTok video captured something insane. You see this tiny whirlpool start forming and it just keeps getting bigger. It starts pulling in all the nearby plants and just sucks them in. It's like watching a black hole for water. And then the video cuts off. It's not just scary because it's destroying everything. It's terrifying because we have no idea where all that stuff is going. I did some research. And apparently, this water can end up in massive underwater caves, some even city-sized. And sometimes it creates new tunnels and sinkholes. So not only is it scary, but it's also mind-boggling. Who wants to end up in an underwater sinkhole? A parachute malfunction? That's a one-way ticket to heaven. Getting caught in a combine. Your body would be like a jigsaw puzzle after that. Who in their right mind would want that? Well, meet this guy. Had to get run over by a damn old combine. <laughs> First off, don't ever try this at home. 
he literally lays down in the field and lets the machine pass over him. The spinning blades just graze him. And then we see the world from underneath the combine. It was so terrifying. I genuinely felt like I was the one getting run over. After the combine passes, the guy actually stands up, completely pumped and excited. Comments say the combine's height was adjusted to avoid hitting him. But still, this is insane. One run roof, and he would have been mincemeat. Pufferfish, especially the cute little ones, are adorable. But after watching this video of someone feeding their Fahaka puffer, I'll never look at them the same way again. Oh my god, that was terrifying. This video is from a puffer fish owner showing off what it's like to feed one of these creatures. They throw a centipede in the tank, and the fish lunges at it, ripping it in half with incredible force. It swallows the whole thing. Like it's nothing. Then, they toss in a scorpion, and the puffer obliterates it, shredding it to pieces in seconds. The owner even throws in a small snake, and the fish makes quick work of that too. It's clear that Fahaka puffers are incredibly brutal predators. They're aggressive, fast-growing, and need massive tanks with powerful filtration to handle their size. So, if you're thinking about getting a Fahaka as a pet, be prepared for some serious brutality. Ever seen a caterpillar rave? No. Well, get ready to be amazed. Ah! <laughs> Isn't that incredible? This video was taken by a hiker who stumbled upon a huge group of caterpillars on a tree trunk. They were just hanging out until the hikers shouted at them. <laughs> they all moved their heads in perfect sync. The hiker kept making rhythmic sounds, and the caterpillars kept matching the beat. It's like they were either terrified or really enjoying the show. I read in the comments that it might not be the sound they're reacting to, but the air movement caused by the hiker's shouts. Whatever it is, it's mind-blowing. Nature is truly weird and wonderful. If you got so far in the video, it means you're a dedicated viewer. Thank you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell button, I promise to keep posting these for you to enjoy. This video was captured by a car driver who spotted a group of people parked on the roadside, intently filming something in the forest. As the video unfolds, we see multiple cars lined up, their occupants focused on their phones. Suddenly, panic erupts as they scramble to flee. The reason for their terror soon becomes apparent. A bear emerges from the woods, charging towards them. Now. Those filming seemed pretty oblivious to the potential danger. Instead of hightailing, they merely took a few hesitant steps back, putting themselves in the direct path of the enraged bear. Talk about a close call. The bear lunged at one woman, missing her by inches. It's a shocking reminder that nature commands respect. Wild animals are called wild for a reason. Messing with them is a risky gamble. And this video serves as a stark warning. Tornadoes are terrifying. There's nothing we can do to stop them, and if you knew how quickly they can form and intensify, you'd pray to never encounter one. Guys, it's the rain! Oh my god! We're dying! Oh my god, it's right there! Oh my god! This video was captured by a homeowner in Kansas who witnessed a tornado forming right in front of their house. At first, they're laughing about a swirling cloud, but their daughter is clearly panicked. Oh my god! Guys, it's the rain! Oh my god! We're dying! Oh my god, it's right there! The sky is filling up with a massive swirl, and you can see the air starting to build up on the ground. Then, debris starts flying up in a swirling motion, confirming that a tornado is forming. 
the homeowner realizes the danger and rushes her daughter to safety as the video ends. It's terrifying to see a tornado form so quickly right in front of their home. This shows just how fast these storms can develop, and even tornado warnings might not give you enough time to react. When we think of wildfires, we imagine destruction and chaos. But this next video will completely change your perspective on fire. Isn't that absolutely mesmerizing? This footage is from two adventurous explorers who stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. Blue flames, the cameraman's wide-eyed reaction, and gas masks give away the shock he's experiencing. As the camera pans, we see the source of his amazement, a rhythmic flowing river of blue fire. It's like something out of a fantasy world. This incredible phenomenon is found at the Ijen Crater in Indonesia, a volcano known for its extreme conditions. The blue flames are actually caused by burning sulfur gas escaping from cracks in the mountain. So, next time you think of fire, remember this. Nature can be both terrifying and breathtakingly beautiful. Being in the wrong place at the wrong time is a real thing, and this fisherman learned that the hard way. This video was recorded by a fisherman on a seemingly normal fishing trip when he had the worst luck ever. He's casually recording the calm water when suddenly, out of nowhere, a massive humpback whale breaches the surface and lands right on his boat. The impact sends the fisherman and camera flying, cutting the video short. It's incredible how a whale can completely obliterate a boat in seconds. The whale was probably just lunge feeding, and the fisherman happened to be directly above its target. It's mind-boggling how something so huge can be completely invisible until it decides to make a dramatic entrance. The ocean is definitely full of surprises. Ever get chills watching those paranormal investigator YouTubers? Me too. Frankoff definitely knows how to find creepy locations, and his Cascada adventure might be his most unsettling one yet. In the clip you just saw, Franco TV captured one of his most creepy videos of all time while visiting Cascada. In the video we see Franco visiting Cascada at 3 in the morning. There's a graveyard right next to it and everything seems pretty quiet, giving off creepy and eerie vibes. While entering the Cascada graveyard, he explains that people here are really close to spiritualism, a religious practice based on supposed communication with the spirits of the dead. In the graveyard, Franco was a bit surprised to see pebbles and beads on graves and fountains around. There was also a wooden shed with pictures of deceased people all over it. After that, he visited the Cascada bookstore. To his surprise, there were cards laying on its porch on a seat all alone. It was really weird, so Franco left them as they were. As he ventured further on the streets, he saw a person sitting alone, dressed in black, on a bench, holding a candle. It was creepy because it was three in the morning. I know we all mourn in our ways, but at this hour, tell me you would not have been creeped out. However, when he passed the same bookstore again where he found those cards, there was a creepy figure, dressed in black, standing on its porch, staring directly at Franco. He acted wisely and pretended that he didn't notice the person. After this, he wisely went to his car. When he drove back to the bookstore, there was no one there on the porch. He then used his ghost voice box and meter to see if there were ghosts around. To his surprise, most of his questions were answered by ghostly sounds. The ghost even completed the phrase Marco Polo with Franco. Can someone tell me the next part to this phrase? 
Marco. After that, Franco exited the place, and the video ended. This was, I think, one of the most disturbing and scary encounters I have seen to date. But that's what I think he wanted, isn't it? The existence of ghosts and spirits is a hotly debated topic. While there's no scientific consensus, the internet is full of supposed evidence, and this video might be some of the strongest out there. Did you see that? This strange and bizarre sight was captured by a security camera in India? In the video, we see a white car parked near a forest road. After a few seconds, the car owner enters the frame and opens the driver's side door. He appears to be searching for something inside the car when something inexplicable happens. He abruptly runs away from the vehicle. Slowing down the video reveals a chilling detail. As the car owner rummages through his car, a transparent, smoky figure seems to form behind him and pushes him into the car. The force of the push causes the man to get shoved into the car and then look around, but there's nothing there. This unexplained encounter clearly terrifies him, prompting him to flee the scene. This is a truly scary capture on a security camera. It certainly challenges the notion that spirits don't bother us. This video might make me check my surroundings twice before doing something in my car. That's for sure. The vastness of the ocean is mind-boggling. With only 5% explored, the remaining 95% holds countless mysteries. What creatures lurk in those deep dark waters? This video might offer a glimpse. What is that? See it? Is that a head? This footage comes from low foil captured by a local couple on a fishing trip. Their attention is fixated on something moving through the water. The creature's swimming pattern creates a significant disturbance, hinting at something truly colossal. As it glides beneath the surface, a glimpse of its back emerges. A dark rocky form with a bulky silhouette. While some might jump to the conclusion of a whale, its shape is far from the sleek symmetry we expect. This creature resembles a colossal, rough-hewn rock more than anything. The couple was shocked and it's perfectly understandable. They've witnessed something truly extraordinary. Whispers of the Lao foil monster are swirling, but without further evidence, it's impossible to say for sure. So, what do you think? Could this be a genuine glimpse of a legendary creature, or something entirely different? If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. Nature loves to throw curveballs. Just when we think we've got things figured out, it throws something our way that makes us scratch our heads in confusion, wondering if it's even from this planet. Seriously? What is that thing? This video comes from a research institute in Kiel, Germany, where they're baffled by a truly bizarre wiggling creature. Local fishermen reeled it in from the Baltic Sea and brought it to the institute for study. Everything about this creature is strange, from its appearance to its behavior. It's got a long, coiled body like a worm, but between those coils, it has these thin, jellyfish-like flaps of skin, and this thing is massive. Judging from the video, it's definitely no shrimp. The Geomar Institute is completely stumped. They have no idea what it is or where it came from, and they're just as confused as the rest of us. Of course, the internet is already buzzing with speculation, with some viewers even suggesting it could be an alien worm. Seriously, 
It has no face or any other recognizable features. Just a long, coiled body that keeps wriggling around. It's undeniably strange. And let's hope this thing stays put in the ocean. The last thing I need is one of those wriggling around in my backyard. Have you ever wondered what lurks in the inky depths of the ocean? I'm not talking about the parts divers can reach. I'm talking about the crushing darkness way, way down there. This video from Japan will give you a glimpse, and trust me, you'll be equal parts fascinated and freaked out. This footage comes from the deep toe cameras of Jamstack, a Japanese marine science and technology company. The video shows the camera reaching the ocean floor and capturing some truly bizarre and amazing creatures. First, it snags a glimpse of what looks like a strange sea plant. Then, it focuses on a creature crawling along the seabed. A nightmarish mix of octopus and starfish just chilling on the ocean floor. Next up, the camera catches a truly alien-looking deep-sea squid. This thing is huge, and it's swimming purposefully towards something unseen. Then, the deep toe encounters another unsettling sight. A fish that looks pretty normal, except for its giant, unsettlingly human, like creepy eyes. As the camera continues its survey, it spots a small shark with strange fins on its long, slender body. But the weirdness doesn't stop there. The absolute strangest, creepiest thing comes at the very end of the video. The camera pans across what appears to be a rock on the seabed. But wait a minute. Upon closer inspection, it's a creature with unsettling eyes and a massive mouth. It looks like something out of a monster movie. The video cuts out there, leaving us to ponder what other monstrous denizens lurk in the abyss. Honestly, after seeing that, I'm not sure I even want to know. There's something about old dolls. They just ooze creepy vibes. Maybe it's the vacant eyes or the lifeless smiles. But I avoid them like the plague. However, if you're a doll enthusiast, this next video might have you rethinking your entire collection. Talk about unsettling. This video comes from a homeowner who caught something bizarre happening in his house and, thankfully, uploaded it to TikTok for all of us to see. The homeowner zooms in on a creepy old doll displayed in a frame. He tells the viewers to see if they notice anything strange, and wouldn't you know it, just a few seconds later, the doll's head moves. It tilts and stares right at the camera, with a look that could curdle milk. The homeowner seems a little freaked out, but his reaction makes me think this might not be the first time this has happened. Maybe he filmed it this time, to have some proof for the rest of us skeptics. Dolls, man. They're the perfect hiding place for restless spirits, if you ask me. Here's hoping this homeowner took some sage and banished that creepy doll to the deepest corner of his attic, or better yet, got rid of it completely. I've always known goats are incredible climbers. Heck, even mountain climbers could probably learn a thing or two from them. But scaling a sheer palm tree, now that's next level impressive. See what I mean? This video was recorded by a tourist who spotted something white way up in a palm tree. Let's just say his zoom function got a serious workout. There, defying gravity itself, is a goat casually climbing straight up the trunk. It's mind-blowing, right? 
We all know goats are masters of the mountainside, but this one is taking things to a whole new level. How do they even do it? How do they even do it? Well, mountain goats have these amazing cloven hooves with two toes that spread wide for ultimate balance. Plus, the rough pads on the bottom of each toe act like natural climbing shoes. So basically, this goat is just out there flaunting its built-in climbing gear, making professional climbers look downright ordinary. Natural disasters are the ultimate reminder that we're not in control of everything. This video from Anchorage Airport in Alaska is a chilling example of that. This footage puts you right in the thick of it at the Anchorage Terminal. From the very beginning, you can feel the terror as the entire building starts to tremble. The lights flicker and die, plunging the place into darkness. Panic sets in as people scramble for safety. The camera guy yelling to warn others about the earthquake. The lights eventually come back on, but the shaking continues relentlessly until the earth finally calms. The video ends with the haunting wail of ambulance sirens echoing throughout the airport. It's a stark reminder of the raw power of nature and the feeling of helplessness in its face. Seriously, what can you do in a situation like that except wait for it to stop and hope for the best? Just chills. Not staged, it's one of the strangest and creepiest videos out there. So what's happening here? A girl in some kind of costume is running away from something. It has to be a costume. Who wears a dress like that on a daily basis? It's night, and they're in the wild. The only light comes from the camera, or some source behind it. The girl stops just before the camera for a few seconds, then disappears behind it. The monster soon follows the girl, stops where she paused, sniffs around, then spots her behind the camera and goes after her. We then hear the girl's screams. What kind of deranged mind would come up with such a scenario? No matter the motive or intent behind making this video, this is absolutely strange. It's well acted if fake, but definitely disturbing. What do you think? Next up, we have a natural phenomenon that, if we didn't know better, could be mistaken for a message or creature from the underworld. What are those shapes beneath the surface of the ice? Are they spirits, dark creatures, or perhaps aliens from a sci-fi movie? These are the questions we'd be asking if we didn't know it's just ice thawing and water making its way downwards in the frozen stream. It's videos like this that make us wonder. We know what it is, so we don't freak out. Now, imagine our ancestors 10,000 years ago who didn't understand science and natural phenomena as we do. What would they think these shapes were? No wonder our ancestors attributed most natural phenomena to gods and created a deity for every element. If you've been following this channel and have seen our previous videos, you know that I don't like the water. Well, not water exactly, but what lurks beneath the surface of our lakes, rivers, and oceans. The thought of not knowing what's down there just terrifies me. What species of fish is that? And look at those teeth. If you didn't catch this, let me show it again. It takes a few big gulps of breath before it goes into the sand. Good to know that it can't breathe under the sand and can't stay hidden for long. But still, how long is its body beneath the ground? What happens if someone accidentally steps on it? What damage can those sharp, tiny teeth cause? And why the heck is its face so creepy? 
someone sent me this clip with the title Big Surprise. So let's see what this is all about. Whoa, he's big. Okay, at first I was wondering what this woman doing. Why all these gymnastics? There are much easier ways of opening a door. And it quickly became apparent why. I have so many questions. How did the bear get into the house and lock itself in? How did these people find themselves outside while the bear was inside? Finally, how lucky is that woman? She was right there, and if the bear wanted to, it could have attacked her. Even if the bear couldn't get to her, she could have easily fallen from there. It's easily ten feet or more, a few broken bones for sure. Why take such risks with wild animals? They are wild for a reason. They are unpredictable. If any of you find yourselves in such a situation, I would advise a lot more caution than this woman. Just call the authorities. When it comes to wild animals, caution is key. But apparently, this rule doesn't apply to Russians. Just look at this guy. He's casually carrying a bear cub. And the mama bear, she's right behind him. You'd think this is some kind of zoo, and he's a caretaker, but the setting says otherwise. Oh, and there's another cub trailing along too. The golden rule with wild animals is to stay far, far away. Especially when they're with their young. This video flips that rule on its head. It seems like this man knows exactly what he's doing. The cub struggles to cross the stream, and the mama bear stops, then goes back to help it. Isn't that something? Parenting instincts are universal, it seems, whether you're human or a bear. But seriously, how is he so comfortable with a mama bear right there? This clip is both heartwarming and nerve-wracking. What do you think? Is this bravery or sheer madness? Let's up the ante a little. Holy shit. These guys are walking in the night when they hear this terrifying roar. I don't know what to call it. We can't make out exactly what it is since it's too dark, but it certainly sounds like a tiger or a lion. All we can see is the light reflecting in their eyes. And it looks like there are two of them. But here's the kicker. Why aren't these people scared and running for their lives? If I were in their shoes, I'd be long gone not still standing there recording. Do they know what those animals are? If not, why is there no panic whatsoever? <laughs> if anyone here knows what language they're speaking, please let us know more about this. This clip is both spine-chilling and puzzling. Are these folks brave? or just oblivious to the danger. What do you think? I've seen clips of ghosts, aliens, scary animals, and wild natural phenomena, but I had never seen an actual booby trap in real life until now. So, these guys are exploring an abandoned house and seem genuinely perplexed by what they're seeing. There's broken glass all over the steps. A few steps up, there's a string attached to something. One of them claims it's connected to a crutch, and the crutch has a knife fixed to it. One of the men takes a pole and disturbs the string, and boom, there it goes. Any adult trying to go up those stairs would have a knife go straight through their head. Seriously, that is crazy. What's in the house up those stairs? Who is trying to hide what here? We live in a crazy world, folks. Next up, we have a clip that will have you scratching your head and pulling your hair out. This man had lost his flock of sheep, 
And where he found them, you won't believe it. Check this out. How on earth did an entire flock of sheep end up on that roof? It doesn't look like there are any stairs leading up there. This is seriously baffling. I could understand if one sheep somehow made it up there. But a whole flock, and on that slope? I've seen mountain goats climb steep mountains, but never sheep doing something like this. Mother Nature always seems to have a wild card up her sleeve. What do you think? How did they get up there? If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. Speaking of Mother Nature always having something up her sleeve, have a look at this video. Those people need to move, and fast. Yes, this man has the right idea. That much mountain collapsing will definitely cause a tsunami-like situation in its immediate vicinity. If anyone's wondering, this is what Archimedes figured out about water displacement when he got into that tub and yelled Eureka some 2,000 years ago. Nevertheless, this is scary. What if there was a boat near that cliff at that very moment? It definitely couldn't outrun that wave and would have capsized. And those people who didn't run, what happened to them? It's things like this that make you wonder if fate is real. No matter how cautious you are, sheer bad luck can put you in the wrong place at the wrong time. So it's always important to live in the present and cherish the good things in life. We just saw how terrifying Mother Nature can be, but she can also be incredibly beautiful. She can be ferocious and majestic at the same time. If you ask me, Mother Nature is more beautiful than scary. Take a look at this fantastic slow motion shot of a large wave. Tell me you don't feel awe looking at this. Look at those perfect curves, the small ripples, and then the wave crashing down in a magnificent display. No artist can match the beauty of nature's canvas. It almost feels like this wave is so big that it's touching the clouds. Real kudos to the person who captured this shot. Here we have something that seems beautiful at first, a nice rainy day, everyone with umbrellas, a cozy feeling, but if that's what you thought, get ready to be grossed out. That's not rain. Are you ready for this? It's cicadapi. Yes, that's cicadas urinating. I never thought an insect could urinate that way, but I was wrong. Here are some interesting facts about cicadas that will blow your mind. Cicadas hold the record for the strongest urine jet stream of any studied animal relative to its size. They drink 330 times their body weight in plant sap every day. No wonder they have to go so ferociously if you know what I mean. They can shoot their pee at 10 feet per second. I thought their signature sound was annoying and now they're going to pee on us too. If you happen to be somewhere with cicadas around, don't look up. Seriously, don't. We know from dinosaurs and other fossils that prehistoric animals were gigantic and terrifying. But brace yourselves for this one. That's not Bigfoot, though that mystery is still unsolved. This is an orangutan. But look at the sheer size of it. Typically, orangutans grow to about 4.3 feet in height. But this behemoth towers over, almost reaching the roof of that house. It's easily more than 6 or 7 feet tall. Can you imagine the raw power of this animal? 
it could literally tear a human apart. Now think about how perilous the world would have been for us if we lived a million or a couple of million years ago. On a galactic time scale, that's just a blip. Modern humans wouldn't stand a chance. It's mind-blowing to think how these giants roamed the Earth and how different survival would have been back then. What do you think could you handle living in a world where creatures like this were the norm? Next up, we have a scene that might look ordinary at first glance. Just some men fishing. But trust me, where they're fishing will leave you speechless. This clip is from Cachoeira do Urubu, Brazil. Look at these brave souls. Would you risk your life for a few fish? They're fishing right next to a raging waterfall. The power and speed of that water are terrifying. You've got to wonder, how many fish can they possibly catch there? And is it really worth it? This is nature's raw power on full display. It's no wonder we've harnessed waterfalls to generate electricity. Would you dare to fish in such a perilous spot? Or would you rather admire the view from a safe distance? Next up is a clip from Canada showcasing one of nature's most extreme and terrifying phenomena, a massive tornado. This is truly the calm before the storm. Just look at the sheer size of it. Everything seems so peaceful, and the tornado in the distance even has a certain symmetry and beauty to it. But when you zoom in and observe the base, you see the real chaos unfolding. It's terrifying to think about the force at the center of it. Anything in its path will be obliterated. Here's a chilling fact. Tornadoes can reach wind speeds of up to 300 miles per hour, strong enough to hurl cars and uproot trees. Can you imagine the sheer power? It's like nature's blender, shredding everything in its way. Now think about this. Why do tornadoes have such destructive power? It's all about the low pressure center and the violent updrafts that create a vortex of doom. And yet, amidst all this chaos, there's a strange, eerie beauty to it. Would you ever dare to chase a tornado? Or would you prefer to admire this force of nature from a safe distance? What's going on at the Miami-Dade Aviation Department? Oh my god, look at the airport. What happened? It looks like some kind of green fluid has taken over the airport. Weird, right? Especially for an airport. Some people went crazy saying it's ectoplasm, also known as simply ecto a substance or spiritual energy exteriorized by angry spirits. But if you're wondering what exactly that is actually, it's just the water from the AC systems leaking onto the floor due to a broken pipe. And why is it green, you ask? Well, that's intentional. Green dye is used to color the water so it's easier to spot leaks and trace the source. A more mundane answer than angry spirits but at least we don't have to call the exorcist anytime soon. We've got another jaw-dropping wonder from nature, straight out of Minnesota. Imagine needing to escape bad weather, but instead of moving cities, you just walk out the other door. In this clip, we see a garage with heavy rain pouring down. But wait, look through the other door. It's a bright sunny day, let's replay that. Torrential downpour on one side and clear, sunny skies on the other. It's like having a weather portal right in your garage. Who needs Doctor Strange's sling ring when Minnesota's weather can give you a magical doorway? Nature's full of surprises, isn't it? Would you step into the rain or bask in the sunshine? If you got so far in the video, it means you're a dedicated viewer. 
Thank you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell button, I promise to keep posting these for you to enjoy. We're looking at a construction site where strong winds are about to topple a massive crane. Just think about the immense power of the wind to pull off something like that. You can even see a blast when the crane hits the ground. Hopefully, no one was hurt in this terrifying incident. It's moments like these that remind us how small we are in the face of nature's might. What kind of precautions can we possibly take to safeguard ourselves against such overwhelming forces? Nature's power is both awe-inspiring and humbling. Today seems to be a day for witnessing the full spectrum of nature's most terrifying displays. We've seen a waterfall, a tornado, high winds, and now brace yourselves for an earthquake. This jaw-dropping footage comes from Japan. Look at that. It's downright terrifying. I've never experienced an earthquake myself. All I know comes from videos like this. But witnessing it, that's a whole different level of fear. It's incredible that the building is still standing. If it can make a big sub shake like a toy, just think about the raw power behind it. Did you know Japan experiences thousands of earthquakes every year? Most are minor, but living with the constant threat of a major quake must be nerve-wracking. How do you cope with the ground literally shaking beneath your feet? It's a testament to human resilience and engineering that we can withstand such forces. Being a paranormal investigator ain't for the faint of heart. You gotta deal with the stuff that nightmares are made of. And YouTuber Papa Jake definitely got his fill of it one night in those tunnels. Yo, we gotta keep moving. Yo, yo, yo! Yo, what? Just down, just down there! Don't move, don't move, just don't move! No! No! Dude, I'm almost down there, don't move, don't move, just don't move, don't move! What is it? Papa Jake uploaded this video as a follow-up to another, where viewers claimed to see a human-like presence. He promised to venture back into the same forest at 3 in the morning to try and capture it again. Things got weird right off the bat. His walkie-talkie started malfunctioning even before they left the room. As 3 in the morning approached, they geared up for their investigation. On their way to the tunnel, they found some abandoned, worn-out shoes under a bridge with a strange board that seemed to have a map on it. Further along, they stumbled upon a campfire in the middle of the forest that felt like someone had been there very recently. They continued, the tension building as they neared the tunnels. Then, in the distance, through the trees, they saw something. A humanoid figure. Something's in the rake's nest. No, 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 what? Something's in the rake's nest. Dude, something's in the nest. Something's in the nest. Something is in the nest. Panic seized them, and they scattered, losing each other in the forest. After a frantic search, they regrouped and pressed on towards the old tunnel from their previous visit. The atmosphere there was even worse filled with a terrifying dread. Emerging from the first tunnel, they saw another figure sprinting through the forest. This time, a clear humanoid form. Yo, 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 noise, noise, what was that? Yo, somebody's back there, somebody's back there! Dude, run, run! Oh god, oh dude, what was that, what was that? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, it's following us! Adrenaline pumping, they ran for their lives once more. Finally, after a desperate dash, they reached the tunnel they were originally aiming for. It was now exactly three in the morning. As they ventured into the dark, terrifying depths of the tunnel, their flashlight started flickering on the fritz. And then it happened. A tall, skinny, humanoid figure appeared in front of them, chasing them deeper into the darkness. They fled in the opposite direction, and the video abruptly cut out. This is some nightmare fuel. Everything that happened in that forest was pure creepiness. 
The figure they encountered, if you freeze the video and zoom in, looks eerily similar to the rake we see all over the internet. Whatever it was, they definitely got what they were looking for. A truly haunted experience. The thought of what lurks in the ocean's unexplored depths sends shivers down my spine. Science tells us we've only discovered about 5%, leaving the remaining 95% a vast mystery. And videos like this one only fuel the intrigue. Не страшно к нему подплывать. Believe it or not, this isn't a scene from a science fiction movie, but real footage captured by surfers on a beach. The video shows a colossal, monstrous looking creature washed ashore. At first glance, it looks like something straight out of a nightmare. But as the cameraman gets closer, we see it's actually a giant crab. This thing is massive. A huge body with ferocious looking legs and spiked claws. In the video, the crab appears motionless, likely deceased, but still surprisingly well preserved. It's undeniably creepy to see a crab of this size. Even the little ones are scary with their pinchy claws, but the thought of this behemoth grabbing you. Of course, some skeptics claim it's a fake, possibly a giant plastic model for a tourist attraction. It does look almost too perfect to be real. But who would put something like that on a beat? Talk about scaring the living daylights out of people. Ever stumbled upon an internet video so bizarre and horrifying that you prayed with all your might it wouldn't be real? Well, buckle up, because this next one is exactly that. What in the world is that? This video, from Arizona, captured something straight out of everyone's worst nightmares. We see a colossal centipede, easily 8 feet long, slithering across a field. This ain't your average creepy crawly. This monstrosity has legs that resemble those of some unknown beast. The way it moves is pure nightmare fuel, like something summoned from the depths of hell. Viewers are speculating that this might be an Arthropleura, an extinct species of giant millipede-like creature. But wait, if it's extinct, how did this video come to be? Here's where I offer a bit of relief. This video is actually generated. Even though it's fake, this 300 million year old monstrosity is still pretty terrifying. Thank goodness those things went extinct before humans arrived on the scene. If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. Remember how, as kids, we all believed mermaids were real? Well, a recent TikTok video has me questioning everything again. A TikTok user uploaded a crazy video that's reignited mermaid fever in everyone. The video pans towards the water, revealing a strange, almost invisible creature lurking beneath the surface. It's long and yellow, with a visible tail. So far, so fishy. But here's where things get interesting. If you look closely, you can kind of see an outline resembling a human torso. Put that together with the tail and you get the mermaid vibes all over. Now, most people will say it's not clear enough to definitively claim mermaid, and they're probably right. Our brains love to fill in the blanks, especially when things are blurry. But hey, if it's not a mermaid, then what is it? That's the million dollar question. If you have any ideas, hit us up in the comments below. Otherwise, maybe we can all just believe in a little mermaid magic. Ever love finding those hidden Easter eggs 
and secret passages in video games. Well, this explorer stumbled upon something similar, but way cooler in real life. This video follows an explorer on a forest hike who comes across a giant tree with a gaping hole at its base. Curiosity peaked, the explorer grabs his headlamp and squeezes through the opening. It's a decent sized space, perfect for setting up camp in a pinch, but that's not where the real discovery lies. There's another, even smaller, opening beneath the tree. Our intrepid explorer starts digging away the dirt blocking it. After a bit of work, he wriggles through the new opening, and to everyone's surprise, there's a long, hidden passage stretching out before him. The explorer ventures down the tunnel, which appears to be man-made. It's like something out of a childhood hideout dream. After a while of walk, the passage reaches a dead end. Here, the explorer spots some animal bones scattered around. The video ends there, leaving us with a sense of wonder. Who knew a simple tree could hold such a secret? You bet I'm checking under every tree from now on, hoping to find a hidden passage of my own. There's something undeniably creepy about fast, large creatures, but add in the unknown, and things get seriously unsettling. This next video, captured on a ranch, is a prime example. My miss. That shit's going all fast. That's not a person at all, bro. That shit disappeared. Hold on a sec. What on earth was that? This video comes from a rancher in Ojai who caught something bizarre on camera during his morning routine. We see the cameraman panning across the fields, where a small figure can be seen sprinting in the distance. It's moving incredibly fast and has a vaguely humanoid shape. The cameraman himself seems confused. At first he thinks it's a person, but then realizes no human could move that quickly across open ground. Viewers who've seen the video are speculating it might be a skinwalker, a terrifying shapeshifter from Native American legend. And if that's the case, its crazy sprint across the field wasn't just for exercise. It was probably trying to lure the cameraman in. Yikes. Being stalked is creepy enough, but when the stalker's a ferocious predator, that's a whole new level of terrifying. This next video comes straight from Indonesia, and it'll make your skin crawl. Nek, minggir nek, minggir nek, nek. Aku nggak ganggu nek. This homeowner in Indonesia captured some truly horrifying footage. In the video, we hear the homeowner, who's also the cameraman, yelling towards the bushes. He clearly spotted something and is trying to scare it off. Suddenly, a pair of glowing eyes pierces the darkness from the bushes, staring right into the camera. Those eyes are pure nightmare fuel. The homeowner keeps yelling, and eventually it works. The creature retreats back into the woods, but as it walks away, we get a glimpse of its body, a massive, ferocious tiger. These tigers are wild, powerful, and incredibly territorial. Once they set their sights on prey, there's not much you can do to stop them. Dolls are creepy, especially those old ones with their vacant stares. They scare the hell out of me every time. This next video perfectly captures why I avoid them like the plague. Seriously creepy stuff. This video was recorded by a homeowner who woke up to his daughter's doll singing. In the video, we see the doll perched right next to his bed on the nightstand. As he films, you can hear the slow, eerie singing coming from the doll. 
He zooms in on its face, and guess what? It's blinking along with the song. Now, maybe there's some built-in blinking function. But if not, well, let's just say this doll is giving me major possession vibes. Sure, dolls can malfunction sometimes, but singing randomly while blinking its eyes? Nope, I'd be out of that house faster than you can say haunted doll. Zip lines are a blast, but safety is key. This next video shows exactly why you shouldn't mess around when it comes to ziplining. That's one hairy situation. This GoPro footage comes from an adventure enthusiast who had a zipline experience gone wrong. Right from the start, we see a red flag. The person is using their hands to move the carabiner down the zipline. Big no, no. Those things are supposed to glide freely. Anyway, they take off, but there's a weird grinding noise coming from the carabiner as it scrapes against the rope. Sounds like it's about to melt or shred any moment. But things get even worse when they reach the middle of the line, stuck. A giant knot has brought them to a complete standstill, dangling thousands of feet in the air. Talk about terrifying. The video ends there, but let's just say this person got to the other side. Not unscathed though. All that friction from holding onto the rope left their hands injured. So who's to blame? The zipline company or the adventurer? Well, this one's on the person. Some simple precautions like leather gloves and an extra carabiner could have turned this disaster into a fun ride. Lesson learned. If you got so far in the video, it means you're a dedicated viewer. Thank you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell button, I promise to keep posting these for you to enjoy. Forests can be incredibly calming and beautiful. Nature at its finest. But pine forests, they're a whole different story. It is 8 in the morning. That's insane. This TikTok video, uploaded by a woman, shows just how creepy these woods can be, even in broad daylight. Take a look, they look like they stepped right out of a horror movie. Dense trees and thick shadows block out the sun, making it impossible to see more than a few feet ahead. The woman mentions that it's like this even in the morning. Yikes! Can you imagine at night? Just thinking about what creatures might be lurking in there unseen sends shivers down my spine. On top of that, it's a pine forest, which is a prime place to get lost. All those identical trees and the soft pine needles muffling every sound create an eerie silence. Super scary, but here's a surprising twist. Even though it looks dark on camera, it's actually not that bad once you're inside there's still decent visibility. So, pine forests. Beautiful but definitely a little creepy too. Crocodiles. Those ferocious hunters of the land and water. But even apex predators can get a surprising twist from nature. And sometimes it's an advantage. This video takes us back to 2001, to a crocodile farm in Samut Prakan, Thailand. Staff there were stunned by a truly bizarre birth. In the video, a farm worker shows off a strange sight, which is a conjoined crocodile. These twins share two separate heads and bodies, but are joined at the hip. 
Despite this unusual anatomy, they seem to be handling daily tasks just fine. Eating is no problem. Walking, however, is a bit of a challenge. With two bodies, they need to learn to coordinate their movement. Vets were consulted about a possible separation surgery, but it was deemed too risky at the time. Thankfully, the crocs appear healthy for now. Conjoined twins in humans often face a tough battle for survival, but in the animal kingdom, things are a bit different. Nature has its own way of working things out, and sometimes these mutations can even be beneficial. Unknown objects on the ground? We can walk over and check them out. But strange lights in the sky? Unknown flying object for sure, right? This next video, recorded by a resident of Sao Paulo, definitely has us scratching our heads. <laughs> This video comes from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and it shows a strange unidentified flying object in the night sky. We can see clouds scattered across the darkness, but among them is a strange object with several small red lights, slowly moving upwards. It's not massive, but it's definitely not tiny either, and it's hovering in place. As for its shape, it kind of looks like two pyramids stuck together upside down. It's hard to say for sure what it actually looks like due to the darkness. But the way the lights move and the slow hovering flight pattern are definitely weird. People are divided on what it could be. Some say it's a drone, while others think it's just a lantern. Drones typically aren't that big, sure, and they can have light but they don't usually look like that. Now, the lantern theory is interesting. We can make lanterns in all sorts of shapes and sizes. But then what about those multiple red lights? It's definitely confusing. This sighting is a head scratcher for sure. Unknown flying object or not, it's definitely something strange up in the sky over Sao Paulo. The ocean, if it's calm and serene, can be the most beautiful sight on earth. But when things get rough, it can turn into a nightmare in a heartbeat, just like in these next videos. I found a compilation of videos online that show the ocean at its most ferocious. The kind of stuff that makes you think twice about ever setting sail again. The first clip shows massive mountain-sized waves churning the water into a frenzy. The ship looks like a tiny toy battling to stay afloat, but somehow manages to weather the storm. In the next clip, the waves are like a monstrous hand, tossing the ship up and down with ease. It's a helpless giant at the mercy of the ocean's power. And the last video. Buckle up. This wave is a skyscraper in disguise, crashing down on the boat with unbelievable force. But somehow, thanks to some incredible engineering, the ship manages to hold its own. These ocean storms are terrifying, but seeing these ships battle through them is equally awe-inspiring. It's a testament to the power of human ingenuity and design. Russia, land of mystery. This next video shows a creature pulled from the depths that'll leave you scratching your head. This video, shot by someone unknown, shows the bizarre remains of a large creature found near a lake. In the video, we see the lake at first. As the camera pans to the side, we get a good look at the creature's skeleton. And let me tell you, it's creepy. This thing's skeleton is long and slender, with a clear spine, ribcage, 
and a long face. It's like a mashup of land and water. The lower body has a fish-like tail, but the upper body and face are completely different. And to top it all off, when the camera zooms in on the mouth, we see sharp human-like teeth. Nobody knows what this thing is. I did some digging online, but came up empty-handed. If you have any idea what this could be, let us know in the comments. Security cameras are supposed to make us feel safe, but sometimes they catch stuff that makes you go, huh? This next video is a prime example. This creepy security camera footage shows a car parked in the driveway. But that's not all. There are also some strange little creatures hanging out next to it. These aren't your usual squirrels or raccoons. They look totally different. They kind of waddle like penguins, which is just bizarre for driveway critters. The owner who uploaded the video claims they even found deep claw marks on their car in the morning. Now, whether those scratches are connected to these weirdos, we can't say for sure, but one thing's for certain, these two are definitely out of the ordinary. The way they walk is just off. It's like they forgot how bodies work. They weren't kidding when they said mountain roads in India are for the brave. This next video will have your palms sweating. This hair-raising footage comes from India, where a bus passenger decided to document the terrifying journey on these mountain roads. The video shows buses navigating incredibly narrow roads, with the wheels practically hanging off the edge. Seriously? It looks like one wrong move, and they're plummeting down the mountain. I don't know how these drivers keep their cool. They're literally holding hundreds of lives in their hands while white-knuckling it down these perilous paths. I know there are villages nestled up in those mountains, and these roads are the only way to reach them. But these huge buses seem way too risky for these conditions. Jeeps would be a safer option, but of course not everyone can afford them. Maybe walking would be a better choice. At least you'd have more control over where you put your feet. India is definitely an adventure, but this kind of travel ain't for the faint of heart. You gotta have some serious guts for it. If you are a believer in dragons, this one's for you. This next video might just spark some serious debate. <laughs> This footage comes from a miner who stumbled upon something incredible during his usual workday. The video shows the miner deep underground, where he spotted a strangely shaped head jutting out from the ground. It kind of looks like the head of a dragon or a T-Rex. The miner, clearly bewildered, uses his pickaxe to try and unearth it further. That's where the video cuts off, leaving us with a giant mystery. So, what was it? Logically, it could just be a rock that happens to resemble a dragon's head. But then again, why would a rock look exactly like that? And the look on the miner's face says it all. He's definitely got the feeling this is no ordinary rock. One thing's for sure, these miners unearthed something far more interesting than whatever they were originally looking for. Ever come home? to an empty lasagna dish, even though you swore you left it for leftovers. Well, this next video takes that feeling to a whole new level, with a wild twist. This YouTube video features some incredible footage captured by a home security camera in Connecticut. The culprit, a giant black bear. The video shows the bear casually strolling into the kitchen, like it owns the place. It opens the fridge with no problem and starts rummaging around. Then, it spots the lasagna, jackpot, 
This furry bandit then pulls off a heist smoother than any Hollywood movie. Just like that, the lasagna disappears. The bear even manages to hop out the window with its prize. A one-legged maneuver that would impress any gymnast. It was a clean getaway for this cunning critter. The bear in the video looks like a seasoned pro. The way it waltzed right in and knew exactly what it was doing suggests this isn't its first fridge raid. This hungry mammal helped itself to a delicious frozen dinner before making a graceful exit. Honestly, if a bear broke into my house and just stole my lasagna, I'd be kind of impressed and relieved it wasn't after anything else. As time goes on, things on Earth are getting weirder and weirder, like a recent video circulating on the internet that is leaving people terrified. This video was captured by an apartment dweller during a thunderstorm. In the video, you can see dark clouds swirling around. And then, there it is. A bright red ball of light appears out of nowhere. The object gets brighter and just hangs there in the sky. The person who uploaded the video claims it showed up after a lightning strike and lingered for a few minutes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me, that looks an awful lot like a red emergency flare someone shot up in the air. It seems like maybe the person who filmed this has never seen a flare before, which is why they uploaded it in shock. I bet they'll get an earful in the comments about what it really is. Volcanoes usually conjure up images of destruction. Massive ash plumes, earthquakes, and rivers of molten lava. But sometimes a volcanic eruption can be strangely beautiful. This next video, captured by a group of lucky hikers, shows an active volcano putting on a breathtaking light show. In the video, a loud boom erupts, followed by a massive bolt of lightning that tears through the black smoke cloud billowing from the volcano's peak. The smoke itself is an impressive sight, but the lightning strike takes it to a whole new level. This phenomenon is called volcanic lightning, and it's different from the kind you see during a regular thunderstorm. It's caused by the collision and fragmentation of ash particles, and sometimes ice, within the volcanic plume. All this friction creates static electricity, turning the plume into a giant dirty thunderstorm. Seeing volcanic lightning is incredibly rare. Only about 200 instances have been documented in the past 200 years. So the hikers who captured this footage we're definitely in the right place at the right time. The Bigfoot mystery just won't die, will it? Every so often, a new sighting stirs up debate, keeping the legend alive. Oh, my. oh shit, there it is again, there it is, there it is. Oh my god. There it is, there it is, it's right behind that tree. This clip is from Alaska. It seems to be somewhere deep in the wild. You can hear the calming sound of a stream in the background, but don't get too comfortable. Do you see that between the trees? Our man is clearly spooked, and we can hear the tremor in his voice. It's easy to understand why. Only parts of this mysterious creature are visible, adding to the tension. One moment it's there, the next, it vanishes among the trees. Is this the elusive Bigfoot, or is this staged? The only reason that makes me say this is that our man is talking while recording. If he's seeing something that big and unknown, wouldn't he rather be quiet and hide? Why doesn't it cross his mind that it can hear him and attack him? Anyways, it's not enough to conclude one way or another. The mystery remains. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, this footage will surely leave you curious. Abandoned Houses 
hold a certain allure for explorers, but venturing into one located deep in the woods adds a whole new layer of mystery. Oh my days. What? It's the pet dog. The video follows Adam as he investigates a derelict house nestled in the woods. As they ventured inside, everything gave off worn out vibes with dust and debris covering everything. There were old bottles, a piano, and even a dried up ferret on the desk. As Adam explores further, he discovers dusty wine bottles, books dating back to 1946, and other antique furniture. But the most unexpected find comes in a bedroom. A fully intact, dried up dog lying on a bed. It seems the poor creature passed away long ago, but its body remains preserved in that position. This discovery is undoubtedly startling for Adam. Adam also finds beautiful sketches and other interesting relics during his investigation. Although he didn't find anything supernatural, the dried up ferret and dog were quite horrifying. I can't imagine how they ended up like that. Love can come in all shapes and sizes, but this Colombian man's love story is definitely unique. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Natalia is clearly a cruelly constructed mannequin, while on the other hand, Christian is a flesh and blood man. But in every photo, all we see, for lack of a better phrase, is man and puppet posing together as if they're actually a couple. So you might be asking yourself, what exactly is going on here? Is this some kind of a joke account? Does Christian have some kind of a paraphilia that he's sharing with the rest of the world? Well, that's the thing. Meet Christian Montenegro, a 27-year-old from Bogota, Colombia, who found companionship in a rather unconventional way. After a string of failed relationships, Christian decided to create his own family. A ragdoll family his family includes Natalia Ortiz, a life-size rag doll who even has her own Facebook page, and three smaller dolls as their children. Christian started documenting their lives on social media in 2022, taking them on outings and editing photos to make them seem like a real family. This story has sparked online debates. While some find it a creative way to deal with loneliness, Others worry about Christian's mental well-being. There have been bumps along the road, too. After a breakup, Christian even burned the dolls, only to return to them later. He recently announced a new addition, a ragdoll baby named Sammy. Christian's story highlights the complex ways social media, mental health, and the human desire for connection can all intertwine. But there is something more terrifying to the story. Come people claimed to have seen the dolls move their eyes. Short movements that you would miss if not filmed. But while looking online, I did spot them as well. Could he have modified them in some way to have this feature? Or are they truly alive? There are cultures that think objects can come to life. For instance, in Japan, the concept of Tsukumogami involves household objects that, after serving for 100 years, become animated and sentient. Similarly, in many African traditions, it's believed that spirits can inhabit statues and dolls, giving them life and agency. What do you think? If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. Always be aware of your surroundings when participating in thrilling activities like dirt biking. This video from the YouTube channel High Gear highlights the potential dangers faced by riders venturing off-road. The video, captured by a pair of hikers, shows two dirt bikers gearing up and heading towards a forest trail. Despite the rain, 
they accelerate onto the muddy path, enjoying the scenery and the power of their machine. However, their adrenaline-fueled ride takes a terrifying turn as they navigate a narrow section between trees. The lead rider, fortunately, spots a steel cable strung between the trees at the last moment and ducks beneath it. Unfortunately, the rider filming behind doesn't see the cable until it's almost too late. Thankfully, they also manage to react in time and avoid a collision. It was a close call, even though the steel cable was loose. The speed they were going at could have made it lethal. So, always check your surroundings for potential hazards before picking up speed, especially on unfamiliar trails. While malicious intent is rare, unforeseen dangers can exist. This next intriguing video from Newsflare shows us how to spot a tinfoil alligator in hazy water. And trust me, this knowledge could save your life. By the way, you'd never know there's a 10 foot alligator right there. No one's gonna believe that there's an alligator in here. James. James is his middle name, come on. Come on up, please. Come on up. There's my big boy. The video features a professional alligator handler demonstrating a technique for identifying alligators in hazy or muddy water. At first glance, the water appears calm and free of any danger. However, the handler points out subtle air bubbles, breaking the surface. He follows these bubbles with his camera, explaining that they're a sign of an alligator's movement underwater. As the bubbles form a circular pattern, the handler calls out to a specific alligator named James. After a few calls, James the alligator emerges from the water. This encounter highlights how well camouflaged alligators can be, making them nearly invisible until they surface. So remember this tip, if you are ever considering a swim in murky water, keep an eye out for those air bubbles and circular patterns. They might signal the presence of an alligator because you never know when you might be joined by a mighty gator. Mount Everest might be king in everyone's mind, but there's a challenger for the title of highest in a surprising way. This clip takes us to the summit of a mountain that could be crowned the closest to the sun, offering a truly breathtaking vista. Watch as the climber reaches the peak, revealing a panorama of clouds and surrounding mountains. The scene is almost ethereal, with the snow forming a unique pattern on the peak's edge. It's a sight that leaves you speechless. But what is this mysterious mountain that rivals Everest? It's none other than Ecuador's crown jewel, Vulcan Chimborazo. Due to the Earth's bulge at the equator, where Ecuador proudly sits, Chimborazo's peak holds the title of the farthest point from Earth's center, surpassing even Everest. So, while Everest might reign supreme in elevation, Chimborazo offers the most distant, and arguably the most awe-inspiring, view on Earth. Nature truly is a place of endless wonder and unexpected surprises. Talk about prioritizing your lunch. This next video captures a scene straight out of a near-miss movie. The clip, believed to be from China, shows a restaurant security camera view. Outside, the street is eerily deserted, except for two figures calmly enjoying their meal at a table. As they savor their food, a fierce storm suddenly erupts. The wind whips through the scene, even lifting the restaurant's carpeted floor slightly. Unfazed, the diners continue their meal, seemingly oblivious to the growing danger. But the storm isn't playing around. A powerful gust rips the entire carpeted floor from the ground, 
wrapping it around a nearby pole in a flash. The diners are caught in the sudden chaos, taking a hard hit from the carpet. Thankfully, they're shaken but unharmed and quickly scramble for safety inside the restaurant. Just to emphasize the close call, look closely after they get up. A child's trampoline was also hurtling down the street. This incident serves as a stark reminder. Sometimes postponing that last bite can be the difference between a meal and a maelstrom. Have you ever felt a tingle down your spine? A primal fear whispering that something unseen watches you? This video might just show what it could be. I've been posted up on this tree. I'm sure you all can see it. I keep hearing things over here and back behind me. Right over here or behind the camera, I should say, but... <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh, shit! A YouTuber named CJ Faison films himself setting up camp in the legendary Pokemoke Forest. But as night falls, things take a terrifying turn. As he ventures out to investigate with a camera in hand, a strange light in the distance catches his eye. At first, he thinks it might be another camper, but soon realizes it could be something more mysterious. The figure moves strangely, mimicking the YouTuber's actions in a way that sends shivers down his spine. Hiding behind a tree, CJ films the eerie sight. The figure wanders through the woods, and every snap of a twig makes him jump. Then, a blood-curdling crackle pierces the night, sending the camper running back to his tent. The camera shakes wildly, capturing only flashes of the desolate forest as he runs. Even after reaching the safety of his tent, there are sounds outside like someone walking around. Did something follow him back to camp? We don't know. But one thing's for sure. This YouTuber won't be forgetting this night anytime soon. The Pokemoke Forest sure knows how to keep its secrets. For more captivating content like this, click here. Thank you for tuning in.